Good evening, everybody. Um, Pastor Christian Esso, he hails, <clears throat> he hails from the country of Cameroon. You cannot hear me. Can you hear me now? Uh, good evening, everyone. Pastor Christian Esso is coming from the Republic of Cameroon. And uh, he is uh, a PhD candidate here, as he told me to. He said he's a PhD candidate. That's what he told me. So I'm simply presenting what he told me. So this is about him, not about me. So he's a PhD candidate here at IAS. Uh, and he's uh, been in the systematic theology department. I believe all of you know him. He is also working and serving as our intellectual affairs in the association and one of the key members or key leaders of this uh, forum. He is going to present uh, uh, to us um, the topic, the meaning of the word paraskeu in the gospel and its relevance to the to Sabbath observance. The meaning of the word paraskeu in the gospel and its relevance to the Sabbath to Sabbath observance. Before he comes, I'd like for us to pray. Let us pray. Father in heaven, I would like to thank you for your kindness and your love and thank you for this opportunity you granted to us to uh, dig deeper and understand more about the Sabbath and especially in the Afri African experience. And so, Father, as we listen to the second presentation, we pray that you'd help us to understand. We also pray, O oh God, that you be with uh, Pastor Esso as he's going to direct and, and lead us in the discussion. And Father, may you be with us, and we humbly ask and we pray all of these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Good evening. Uh, my topic is the meaning of the the word paraskeo in the gospel and its relevance for Sabbath of servants. Um, in the abstract, I, there are two main, main ideas that I uh, bring out. First, uh, the Sabbath of servants is a challenge. Uh, we, we know always that the Sabbath of servants is a challenge in many places. Uh, some people still ask the question what we should do, what we should not do, and in which extent we should do it, and uh, uh, all these questions that are uh, and sub questions that we know. The other thing is that uh, 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 it's always known that uh, a success depends on preparation. Uh, on preparation. Uh, and we have those famous quote by fa failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. Uh, before anything else, uh, preparation is the key uh, to success. Those are the things that lead this study. So the Old Testament uh, of equivalent of paraskeo, what is uh, really paraskeo? Uh, as we can see, there are several words in the Old Testament uh, which reflect the idea of preparation, in meaning the preparation. So the first and the most commonly translated by preparation is the word kun. Uh, with the idea of establish, uh, establishing something or to put into place. As we see in the Exodus 16 with the famous passage, this passage is thematically related to the gospel and uh, the context of the Sabbath of servants. So the second word is mark, with is a sense of arrangement, of disposition. So we have uh, other words like uh, mana, like uh, Kadesh, uh, and... Um, uh, and other, other, other words, all these meaning uh, are working the semantic of uh, preparation. So, in the Apocrypha also we have some, some, some occurrence with the same meaning of making ready, of being ready. Uh, so, uh, generally in the Old Testament, we have this, uh, the meaning of preparation of making ready or being ready for something. So being ready or making ready something. So uh, in the context of um, in in the in the context of the Old Testament, uh, we see that the preparation should take place, uh, and uh, when it should take place, 
the Bible says that the last day of a walk or the sixth day after you walk six days then the 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 the, 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 the seven days the Sabbath said so the sixth day you the six the sixth day you shall labor and do all your work so this one reflects the what the background of creation story that the the, the preparation of the universe was made by God and then it rests on the, the sixth day. So the preparation should take place the last day of work. That means after, after the work. So it's a day of double portion. That's another idea that we find in the Old Testament. That this day of preparation or the preparation time is the day of double portion. I want you to get those two ideas. The day that is the last day and the day of that is the day of double preparation. That means that... Uh, double portion. God will give a double portion according to Exodus. So in the New Testament, we have also some uh, uh, some semantic of the word parascheo that we can find. We can find also there uh, with the also the general idea of uh, uh, making ready or or uh, uh, being ready. We have, for example, uh, 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 to be the word catartizo, which means to, to fit or to adjust to be, uh, to adjust to fit the day. So, according to Porter, Parascheo is the day when Jews made special arrangement to observe the Sabbath. Because the Sabbath was a day of complete rest, food uh, had to be cooked, Sabbath, uh, Sabbath was a day of uh, 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 cloth prepared and travel conclude before it begin. So to avoid to profane the Sabbath, as we know, uh, they, they, they will then cease uh, the work uh, before sunset on Friday, and it was prohibited until after Sunday on the, on the Saturday. So uh, the way those people observe the, 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 the day of preparation, uh, according to what we read in the New Testament, suggests that is a 24 hours time in the biblical terminology according to the uh, porter that means it's a 24 hours time the sun takes to sunset so i want you to understand very well how the new testament sees all this day of preparation there have been discussions among scholar about what the word yom or day or imera may means some people think that the day is just a portion when the bible says that a yom is maybe a portion of the day uh, a, 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 the entire day or a, or a segment of 24 hours, uh, they can call it. There are many uh, ways to understand that if it's even a portion of the day, they can say it's a day. But we, you understand with me that the challenge will be that if you consider that a portion of the day is also a day, that means the Sabbath can be also a portion of the day only. It can be only a portion of the day. Uh, only. So, uh, in the New Testament, it's uh, very clear according to what Porter says that uh, uh, they were observing, uh, they are saying sunset to sunset. That means it's a, it's a cycle of 24 hours. Uh, and it's uh, very important for us to understand. So, in the synoptic, in the synoptic, we, we have uh, this word parascale who is used uh, in. Uh, in in a, in the in a synoptic gospel, and it always appear as uh, the the preparation. They call it sometimes the preparation, which is the time before the Sabbath, and we can see it like Mark fifteen twenty two, and it says that uh, it was the preparation day, and the Sabbath was coming on, and the word parasco in the synoptics mainly associate with the concept of time. The next day, the time before the Sabbath, the Sabbath was coming on. All this expression of time indicate that the word should be understood in the context of time itself. That means the word parascale is it's, it has to be understood not only in the context of what we are doing, but also in the context of time because it's always associated with the time. So, the parascale is then the time of preparation. So the gospel in no further information besides the time issue and the close relationship between the parascale and the Sabbath. So the parascale means, uh, uh, it seems to govern the, imp the importance of the Sabbath as we read the gospel. Uh, 
uh, we, 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 we can see the gospel. There is an apparent contradiction regarding the specific Sabbath. That's uh, something that, yeah, that is mentioned in, some of, in the synoptic. In the synoptic gospel, uh, Jesus celebrated the Passover on Thursday night. And uh, 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 given the fact that the Passover fall, fell on Friday in that year, this would be expected. But the gospel of John, Friday is the day of preparation according to John. To John. So there is a, an issue there, but uh, the pro, what the gospel show is very clearly that the, 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 that day also was, a, there are two, two words for day of preparation, it was the preparation. The first preparation, it was the preparation of the Pascha, and the other one is also mentioned the preparation, but that preparation was the preparation of the weekly Sabbath. So there are two, two word preparation, two days of preparation, when we read the gospel, the synoptic, and the, the, the gospel of John. And sometimes it creates it create confusion because some of the gospel we say, and because it was a high Sabbath, it was a high, uh, the high, there should have been high Sabbath that day. That means when we have uh, uh, the, the, the preparation day, who also, uh, uh, the preparation day uh, uh, of the, the Passover, who usually was uh, we, we were Friday, uh, people also call the, the day before the day of preparation. So, uh, in the fourth gospel, we see also the same thing with the day of preparation. Uh, and we can see that uh, uh, they, they will say the Jews, the, the Jews, because it was the day of preparation, and we know that the body will not say that because uh, the body will not remain in the cross the Sabbath day. Uh, for that Sabbath was uh, uh, a great Sabbath, according to John. So some people say the great Sabbath means that it was a Pascha. Uh, the other people say that it, it was not. A, it was just the Pascha was just combined together the the two, the Sabbath, the weekly and the Sabbath day. So uh, uh, the what we see in the in the gospel and uh, what we see also. Uh, in the gospel of John and the synoptic uh, gospel is that the, the, the day of preparation is, is, was something very important. It was something very uh, relevant for the observance of the Sabbath. Uh, one of the things that uh, we, we always have difficulty when we deal with the Parascheo and the observance of the Sabbath is to know exactly what to do and how to do uh, when we have the day of preparation and then uh, the Sabbath. Those two things are connected. As uh, you, you prepare the day, and also uh, how you are going to live the Sabbath. So always the preparation is the key issue on how to observe the Sabbath. So the, the, what we can say is that uh, uh, when we, we look at the Bible, they will say, do not, do not walk. For uh, as the, the, the Bible says, one of the, f the first thing that we says is that it is a day where we should not do anything. So if we should not do anything on the Sabbath, that means we should do almost everything on the Paraskeo, on the day of preparation. So if you don't do anything on Sabbath, you should do everything on the uh, Paraskeo, the day of preparation. So, uh, I don't have much time to go to the details. That's what I'm going uh, as quick as possible. Uh, according to this Bible text, the Hebrew 4.10 and Exodus and Isaiah, uh, these three biblical uh, passages center, uh, 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 the center of the Sabbath is God. The Paraskeo need to lead the believer to recenter his life to God, uh, uh, to God before the Sabbath. That's the, the role of the Paraskeo. To center, to center before uh, the Sabbath. So uh, it's a, it's a day of spiritual renewal. That means that the Parascore corresponds to the day of human creation. It project it, uh, it project him to his recreation in Christ. In fact, one of the things, as I will conclude, one of the things that's very important that we always miss when we talk about the Sabbath, is that we always forget that we have, we have been created the sixth day. 
So we focus more on the Sabbath and we focus less on the sixth day. Which is also for me, according to me, very important. That's why this, this study is also important for me. The observance of the seventh day is based on the understanding of the sixth day. Unless someone understands very well the Paraskeo, the day of preparation, and that day, the sixth day, who is the day of our creation, the day of Sabbath has no meaning. It makes no sense, actually, for me. So the sixth day is more important. Is uh, Of course, we are going to say that the seventh day is uh, theocentric, but the sixth day is also, uh, is also theocentric, but is most the anniversary of a uh, human being. So I, I'm going straight to the conclusion because I don't have uh, much time to explain. In conclusion, Paraskeo as the day of preparation is not well described in the gospel. It always appears in the, uh, in, the in the perspective of the Sabbath festival. Since the Sabbath is a resting day, it gives to the Parasco a paramount expression. The key of a successful Sabbath festival is a successful Paraskeo. If well done, the Sabbath also is well observed. The temporal as aspect of the Parasco as a day need also to be reconsidered. The Parasco is the day of preparation. This involves the whole 24 hours, not just the, only some portion of the day. Because if you understand that the, the Sabbath is the 24 hours, and we understand that the week is 24 hours, we said it's the weekly 7, 24 hours, we need to agree also that the day of preparation, which is also the Parasco, is also 24 hours. For someone who wants to say really, this is the day of preparation. So it's important. This is what is clear, clearly revealed in the gospel where Christ's burial is, is postponed in order to subvert the arrangement of the Sabbath festival. Sabbatarians should consider the day of preparation as, the, as a day, not just as some few hours. In some institutions, like in the, in the Adventist church, uh, in Adventist church, work stop at 1 p.m. Friday. It may be perhaps suggest that the whole Friday may be given out to make sure that the, the Sabbath is well prepared. The same biblical principle of the day, evening and morning, or sunset and should be applied in the case of the Paraskeo in relation to the Sabbath. If we believe that the Sabbath is 24 hours and that we need 24 hours, if we say this is my day also of preparation, you need to take a consideration of also like a day because the Bible presents the Parasco as a day of preparation, not a few hours of or some preparation. So sometimes in Adventist institution we say 1 p.m. or only some people would go 2 p.m. It should be the day off. I believe that it can be also a day. Not a day for not doing anything. It's not a day of rest, but a day of preparation, the full day of preparation. It makes more sense for someone who wants to observe the Sabbath. The preparation should be the one who can sustain a 24 hours festival. Because it's a Sabbath festival, it has to say 24 hours. Your preparation should help you to sustain the 24 hours. Our preparation should, should enable us to enjoy the 24 hours Sabbath without feeling that we should have done this or that. We should have cooked or more or less. This is the meaning of the expression doing all our work also in the commandment. Paraskeo is the day where we prepare to carry or not to carry, to sell or not to sell, to do or not to cook. But a time of it is also a time of double portion, as the Old Testament showed. It's the anniversary of the human creation, humankind creation. Human beings need to celebrate as well their creation day. That is what I'm suggesting. Unless you celebrate your creation day, you cannot celebrate the creator when he have the, the, the day of the creation. The creator, because the Sabbath is belongs to God. The seventh day belongs to God. It's not for, for us. We celebrate God. So we should as well celebrate our creation day. It is when, only when the parascro is understood in this way that the Sabbath itself can become a celebration of God's holiness. It's only when we understand that the parascro is very important. The day of preparation is our anniversary day. Is a day where we need is also a 24 hours day that the Sabbath itself makes sense for us. If not, it's better to, to believe in evolution. Well, uh, thank you, Pastor Esso, for that uh, very insightful presentation on the Parascale. Now I saw, I see one, 
two, three, four, five, and my my brother here, six. So we start with Pastor Colley. It's, it's working. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my, my, my question is actually on the concept of God. Is it a biblical concept or a theological concept that explains that the preparation is supposed to be 24 hours? Because the Bible tells us when the Sabbath was approaching, it means that Half of the hours of the 24 on Friday have already passed. And the Sabbath was coming, and then they have to rush to bring the body down. So can we say that the preparation must be 24 hours? Is there a biblical concept or just a theological concept you are pre uh, presenting to us? I, I think if you understand that this, uh, unless your Sabbath is also some few hours, then I will agree that uh, the parascale will be also a few hours. So uh, people will believe that the week is seven day and every day is 24 hours, our day of creation, should accept that every day is 24 hours. And uh, if you say that is the day of preparation, and that the, as the Jew people understand that is the day of preparation, of course the episode that we have in the gospel show that at the end, they were, it's in fact what, what I want to, to underline, that means that they were so careful that even the last minutes of that uh, time, they don't want to miss it. They need to use it for their preparation, that they need to do it quickly so that they cannot miss anything. So they do everything that is possible. They cover the hours also. That's me. They wanted to cover the hour. My point is that most of the time, we, we focus on the Sabbath. The Sabbath is like the, the commandments very said, I didn't have time to, to explain very well, that in my holy day, always God referred to the day of the Lord, is the Sabbath is for the Lord. So uh, we cannot enter the Sabbath unless we, we accept that we have been created first and we have been created the sixth day. And that's the day also of preparation. So that's why we prepare ourselves to meet our creator. So it's for me, it's 20, it, it made 24 hours to prepare. So I didn't make all the preparation. There's spiritual preparation, physical preparation. Most of the time that I, I choose three key, key texts that are there. In Isaiah, it's talk more, Isaiah 58 is more about spiritual pre preparation. And uh, uh, the text uh, on the uh, uh, Exodus that we use, 12, and other things Paul talks about, and Deuteronomy talks about more of physical and what we can do for other things there. But I, I, I do believe that uh, it's a biblical concept. It's very biblical for someone who understand that's 24 hours. It's, uh, it's clearly biblical. Uh, maybe we overlook it, but uh, people celebrate their anniversary. When you, you, you I, I, my anniversary is 6 August. I will celebrate 6 August. But my anniversary is also every sixth day. <laughs> every sixth day, that's where I was created. So that's the, the anniversary of the human being, humankind. So it's very important also. You want to try? Oh, go ahead. My question is just related to uh, what Pastor Cooley um, say, And my concern is this. Um, have you made um, a kind of a profound study to find out that uh, the day of rest is made of 24 hours only? Because... Uh, I don't know if this term paraskeo uh, means a day of rest, and it only means 24 hours. Uh, or is it the day that the Bible says you have to start preparing the Sabbath, or the day that you have to make things ready because the Sabbath will start soon? I don't know if you have made this kind of story because I discovered in my writing, uh, in my uh, personal studies, that uh, in Jewish tradition, Sabbath, the preparation of Sabbath, start even right after a Sabbath. The another one is started. So this uh, in Jewish understanding, and we have this concept of preparing the Sabbath 
instead of Friday, Paris Cairo, but the preparations start right after one Sabbath ha is ended. So I don't know if you have met uh, all this kind of uh, uh, research and find out that the day of preparation, it is only 24 hours. That's, that's very good. Uh that's a very good point. That's why I didn't have time to explain. Uh, the understanding of the, the word Yom of a mirror, uh, our people understand it. Some people may think that, okay, in some usage, it may mean 24 hours, in the other, it may mean only uh, some part, some portion of the day. Uh, and uh, that's the understanding people have. But what I, I, I can just uh, uh, say in what you, you just mentioned, uh, of course, we. Uh, you, you, uh, if you take the, the case of Adam, Adam was born the sixth day. He didn't have to prepare one week. He was born only the sixth day, and then he has to take the Sabbath. He has only the sixth day. He didn't have any other day. He has only six, the sixth day. The, the sixth day. That was the only day that he had. So uh, he didn't have the first, the second the thing. So if he had to prepare for all this day, I would think that theory will not, will not work for Adam, for example. And uh, if I believe, uh, 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 we can also, we can also uh, think that, okay, we can prepare the Sabbath all this, uh, all this uh, time. But the word paraskeo in the gospel, as I show it, the word is used with the definite article, the, par the preparation, when we translate it, the preparation, the day of preparation. It's a very specific, it's very definite. For people who, who study language, it's very definite to say this is a day, it's pointing of something specific, not something. That's what uh, appears in the gospel, not in the Jewish tradition, as in the gospel. That's my study is about the parascale in the gospel. So the word and its relevance in the gospel is very clear. The article is also definite when we talk about the day of preparation. That's where uh, is uh, is that day of preparation. So we have, if you understand that the day, as we also Adventists, we say is sunset to sunset. Then it should be sunset to sunset, or it should not be. If you say if some portion, I will agree with you, but we have to not blame a member when he says Sabbath. My Sabbath starts at 12 o'clock. So that's uh, also a point that we need to consider. Yes. Thank you very much, Pastor Esso, for your presentation. Similar question, when you suggested 24 hours of preparation for Sabbath, I was thinking on uh, whether if 24 hours is sufficient to prepare for the Sabbath, why not, as he mentioned, that's just what I wanted to ask, why not start preparing from Sunday, because this day is very special. If you have the Sabbath in mind, I think Friday, you have to say, okay, I have to go to SM before uh, 5 o'clock or before sunset. So I think if we have that perspective from uh, uh, starting the day right after the Sabbath, I think it will be the important for us. So that's why I was thinking, why not the entire week? Why not just 24 hours if you have... I, 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 I have to make it clear again. You are created the sixth day. It's because you are created only the sixth day. Sixth day is the time where you have been created. So the sixth day is a very significant for us because human beings have been created the sixth day. The sixth day, are, in fact, is the, where you know that you are a human being and that you have a creator. Not before. It's the sixth day. That day only is the day that celebrates your, your, your creation as a human being. The other animals or other people's or other creation were before. They can prepare their Sabbath the first day. If the sun wants to prepare the Sabbath the first day or uh, the water wants to prepare the Sabbath the first day, but me, I'm dealing more with the human being who was created the sixth day and the sixth day is very significant for a human being. In fact, that's why they say that 666 six is a number for human. That's why also many prophecies. Six days is very important. It's where, is the, 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 it's the, where the preparation has to, to focus because you have been created in that day. It's not uh, true what, it's not the first day that you have been created. Pastor Odiambo. Yeah. Thank you, Pastor Esso, for the presentation. Uh, 
well, I don't want to belabor that point so much, but probably just something to think about. Uh, Sister White herself, I can't remember the reference, has said that Sabbath should begin, preparation should begin on Sunday. I thought that could be authority to inform us on the time to prepare. Adventist Homer, somebody is whispering. So maybe we need to see which one is, is better, the creation day of man or the whole week. Uh, the second question that I wanted to say is the issue of portions of a day is a Jewish reckoning of time uh, that we apply when we have to, to count our days. It's for that reason we say that Jesus fulfills his prophecy of Matthew 12 when he said that as it was with Jonah, the son of man will be in the tomb, in the stomach. I'm just paraphrasing. I hope you know the reference, but we can read it in case it's need. Three days. But when we look at the experience of Jesus of the event, when he died on Friday and he resurrected on Sunday, which we consider to have fulfilled this prophecy of Matthew 12, in a sense, there were not three days of 24 hours. But because of the Jewish reckoning of time, we appreciate that the half part of Friday and Sunday were all included to count the three days of his resurrection. So I think this Jewish tradition of reckoning of time of half day ought to be appreciated, even given that a day is 24 hours. Yes, I, 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 I will agree with you. I will agree with you in uh, some of the points. But, okay, uh, Mrs. White can be the authority, but I don't see where it's written in the Bible that the Sabbath should start to prepare on Sunday. It's not nowhere. So if she's uh, an authority, I don't see that authority in the Bible. So what I'm talking about is what I see in the Bible also. So it's uh, very clear also in the Bible concerning that point. I, I, I don't uh, refuse the, her authority, but I, I say for the church purpose, it's good. Because this uh, sometimes what people will say, maybe this is uh, a, a very practical application of something to help people to start to think about something in the beginning of uh, of the the week it's it's uh, it's important to think to begin to plan ahead of uh, some important things and also when we talk about the three days of resurrection it's important that's what i underline that one i i i i i i, I know the discussion that is uh, is there but the, the the thing that we have to understand is that when we fulfill one day one two days even though you are resurrected in this morning, they will say it's, a, it's, it's say this day, but we are not saying that the day is completed. That's what is very clear also. Some people, it's not that the day is completed, but it's that if it's in the morning, it, uh, the event happened some part of the day, it doesn't mean that the day is completed. It's just that the event happened in, in, during that part of the day. So we have to accept uh, that one. It doesn't mean that the whole day is completed yet. So it's the event that happened in that part of the day. So we, 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 we agree. We, we, we could agree that it's uh, three days, but the event inside. But if you dismiss the fact that a day is, uh, is like, uh, like we use, usually it says 24 hours, then you will have a lot of trouble also for the Sabbath. So you have to explain to also us how many. The day of creation is what we use also. That's a traditional understanding that we believe that it was seven day of 24 hours. If it's seven day of some portion of hours, then it's also okay. We, we can also consider that, but it will bring some implication also on the observance of the Sabbath. I have three issues. The first one is... Uh, it seems in the Gospels, the mention of the preparation day is focused on the Sabbath. They mention the preparation because of the Sabbath. The Sabbath is approaching. So, and to the Jewish mind, the Sabbath is special. A day that should be dedicated. Of and uh, uh, that's the first point. That, um, yes. It seems the Gospel, the mention of the preparation is not the mention itself, mm. but it's a focus on something. Mm. That is what the first point. The second point is that the keeping of the Sabbath is a memorial of creation, including the creation of man. Mm. 
in the memorial of the creation, including the creation of man. Mm. Third point is that we keep the Sabbath because God commanded it. In the Bible, there's no, from Genesis to Revelation, no commandment that we should keep the, we should also observe the, uh, our, the day we were created or the preparation. This, these are the three points. The, my first point is that the mention of the preparation day, especially in the New Testament, mm. is focused on the Sabbath. The preparation day is, is mentioned not because of the day itself, but because something is coming. Point two is that the keeping of the Sabbath or the observance of the Sabbath is a memorial of creation, which includes the creation of man. Mm. So it's not just what, uh, God rested. He said, when you do that, we, we remember the creation itself, including the day we were created. And the third point that I, I wanted to ask is that in the Bible, it's a statement anyway. God said we should keep the, the Sabbath, the day he made holy. And even in Genesis, he rested, he made it, he, he ceased from work, he rested, and he made it holy, or he hallowed it. Yes, I, I agree with all the points that... For the 24 saying, hours, I understand. Uh, yes, I understand with you that uh, it's 24 what, hours. One, one thing is very clear, that's the reading that we always have, that's what I'm saying. Our reading is always that, uh, when we read it, it's because they says, okay... And uh, yeah, there was a preparation day, and uh, the Sabbath was coming. Of course, they're, they're, it's like they're pointing on, on the Sabbath. So, but uh, this paper is just to remind us that uh, uh, this Sabbath can be observed only uh, on there. Because the commandment said it's six day also. It's talking about all six day. You should do all your work. You should do everything. If it was only focused on this one, the commandment was not emphasized. The other days were also as well. So it means the other days also can be uh, uh, included in the reflection. You have to reflect about what should be done in the other days. So this is one of the important things that they decide the day, the preparation, the success of the Sabbath depend on this preparation. The success of the Sabbath depends on its preparation. And I believe, I believe, uh, just that is the suggestions of this paper. I believe that unless the human being are very conscious of the fact that uh, the, 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 of the sixth day, and that's what sound for me. Uh, every time people talk, they say, okay, uh, we have to focus on the Sabbath uh, because the Sabbath is the memorial of my creation. When is that creation? The question will be, when is that creation? It will, the question will remind us to the sixth day. The sixth day. If you say, uh, it reminds me my crea the creation, the creation of the universe. But when is my creation? If I ask the question, is the sixth day. And that sixth day is the day where I start to reflect, to prepare then, to meet the person who have created me. That's the purpose of the sixth day. It's true. It's not wrong to keep Sunday because uh, Christ resurrected Sunday. It's not wrong. What is wrong there? I, uh, yeah, yeah, you have to understand the, 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 the different. Uh, 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 to keep some, a day because you want to celebrate. There are many Sabbaths in the Bible. There are on, not only one Sabbath. There are many Sabbaths. There are Sabbaths of years. There are many Sabbaths. There are seven, seven, there are seven, seven Sabbaths. There are Jubilee years. There are many other things that we are not keeping. But the point, the point is not that we are saying that an event, an event that happened in the life of the people of Israel, the, the, the Anushka, many events that have, they celebrate those days. So celebrating a day because of an event is not a sin by itself. It's not a sin by itself. But maybe you are saying replacing a day and making him look like the other day, that may be a problem. But celebrating another day is not a problem. But changing a day to make it become the other day, that may be a problem. That's where we, we, we can make maybe the nuances. That's uh, the... the
No, in African tradition, when you the day you born, they give you a name who will have sometimes significance. No, it will have sometimes significance, and many custom cosmogony in the world. The day you are born, they look the sky, they look everything, they parameters it, and so your name is is based on that. It's not just something like a, maybe in your. It's not a Western culture. Maybe, maybe, that's what I want just to reveal. That says Western culture is something, but. If you want to put it together, I, it will be something very complicated. But the point is very, the, the point that I'm making is very simple. It's very simple, is that if you want to observe the Sabbath very well, you should, you should keep the, you should prepare very well the sixth day. And that's uh, very important. And the Paraskeo is 24 hours. If you say it's less, then I, I will agree with you that the Sabbath is also less. All right, Pastor Leonidas, and I think we are running out of time. Uh, so I, I, we have three I, remaining questions. The question I had, One I think. One and he, two, yes, and then we are done. The question I have, he has already touched yeah. it, because still for me I am wondering, if we know that we have to get prepared for the Sabbath, we need to get prepared ahead and... Uh, since he said that uh, the Ellen G. White advice which we had that we should really get prepared from the very beginning of the week until the end. Uh, my, my question is now, if people are not even able to get prepared for some, some more three to four hours, if you tell them to sacrifice maybe 24 hours, I don't know, because we have also to, to work for six days, because the Bible says six days of work. And then uh, uh, f from those six, work, uh, see, uh, six days of work, you get also prepared, because if you prepare, you are, you are getting prepared from Sunday, to Friday, I think you can even be ready to the Sabbath. So, I think <laughs> we, we do not want to get confused because since we are Seventh-day Adventists, we need to have a line which really will not confuse, create a kind of confusion in our believers. Thank you. All right. The last question, Pastor Yusri Gerges. Moses, can you kindly... Pass the mic. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Pastor Eso, for that presentation. I'm not asking a question. I think we have a misunderstanding of what he's presenting. It's kind of a, a comment, if you allow me. You can prepare for the Sabbath from the first day of the week. There is no problem. I do that personally. But he's discussing the preparation day. There is nowhere in the Bible where the first day or the second day is called the preparation day. The sixth day is the only day that is called the preparation day. That's the major focus of his paper. I think when it's published, I think you'll have a bigger, a bigger picture of what I'm talking about. So let's not mix the two. You can prepare from Sunday, there's no problem. But his major focus is the preparation day, which is the sixth day. Thank you. All right, thank you so much, and uh, I think this brings our questions and answers for this presentation to an end. God bless you. Thank you. All right, can we rise together, and then we will pray. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you so much for allowing us to understand a little bit deeper about this very important subject of the Sabbath. Father, I pray that as we leave this place, Lord, you'd be with us and guide us. Help us, Lord, to be rested for tomorrow. And we pray, Lord, for the upcoming presentations and those who present. Lord, may you grant to them your grace and grant to them the understanding that they need to be able to uh, share with us uh, wonderful things from your word to help us to have a closer relationship with you. 
Father God, I pray that you, uh, you would bless everything that took place uh, here, especially the things that we did well. And Father, please forgive us for the things we did not do so well. We humbly ask and we pray, trusting and believing in the almighty name of Jesus. Amen.